Am I in focus? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought today's video would be interesting for me to share with you guys another part of my makeup collection. I haven't posted a makeup collection video in a couple weeks, maybe months, and it's because I just kind of forgot about it. So I thought I would share with you guys today just a little section of my makeup collection. It's an acrylic box that's called the Original Beauty Box. I picked this up maybe two years ago or maybe a year and a half ago, and it's a clear acrylic box that has a couple of drawers, and it just is really easy for organizing my makeup Away. It used to sit in the bathroom in my old house and it really made moving so easy because I just bubble wrapped the entire thing, surrounded it with towels, boxed it up and all my makeup was intact. I didn't have to individually wrap my makeup in it so it was really good and it was definitely worth it. It's kind of a pricey product but I love it so much because it really easily houses a lot of my makeup. It's protected but it's also really easy to see it because it is acrylic and it is see-through but it's also a really beautiful display in my room so I thought I would share with you guys that one little Little section of my room today so I hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you're interested in more makeup collection related videos and hopefully I can film more for you guys soon have a great weekend and I will see you guys the next time I upload Mwah. bye guys okay so this is the corner of my room if you've been watching my channel for a while then you saw my nail polish collection and to the right of this corner I have a painting that my husband did hanging on the wall and then I have the start of my nail polish collection but to the left of that section I hung a beautiful print of Audrey Hepburn she is one of my absolute favorite old Hollywood actresses and then below her you will see two acrylic little containers where I have some liquid lipsticks and then the original beauty box so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see even better so this little corner is actually next to the window. That's the window I'm always filming in front of. So if the light is a little bit off, that's why, but hopefully you can see pretty well what's going on. So this little acrylic organizer is actually on top of a beautiful pedestal type cabinet. I picked it up at, I think, yeah, it was at TJ Maxx. It has three really deep drawers and I really like it because first of all, it's white. That is the theme of my room. And the countertop is a marble design. It was about $70. It was kind of pricey, but I had just moved in. I needed more organization and I splurged on myself and it was definitely worth it. And then right on top is the original beauty box. So I'm gonna pull you guys even closer so you can see it all in detail. So right on top, I have these two little acrylic kind of candle holders. I'm not really sure what they are. I picked them up at the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each. They're really heavy and sturdy, and I like to use them for makeup brushes, for lipsticks like this that are really tall. So on this side, I have all of my buxom lip polishes are the more shimmery glosses, and then the full-on lip creams are just a creamy kind of lip gloss. I really like them because they're very opaque. They layer great over lipstick, but they look beautiful alone as well. And they have this refreshing, hydrating feeling, plus they smell like maple syrup. So they're really nice in the morning. I love them. And then next to that is where I have all of my ultra satin lips from ColourPop. I don't have as many ultra satin lips as I do some of the other ColourPop lip products, so luckily they fit in here perfectly. I love the ultra satin lips the most from ColourPop, so I probably will be picking up more in the future, but this is my collection so far, and I just thought this looked really pretty on top of this because it's kind of like glass on glass, even though this is plastic, but you know what I mean. It's that see-through kind of aesthetic, so I just thought that looked pretty on top of this guy. So if we're looking at this head-on, the very top row is a large drawer that slides out and this is where I have all of my drugstore or affordably priced lip liners and here's where I have a lot of products that are bronzer related and it used to have like a little partition in the middle that I took out because I prefer to have one wide drawer as you can see this is where the split would be and you can have products here and you can have products there but I ended up removing that because I just felt it was easier to have everything all together just in a wider space I did the same with all of the drawers the third drawer is where I have all of the powder pressed loose liquid highlighters and then in the bottom is all about blush so i'm going to bring you guys closer into each drawer so in this top drawer is where i keep all of my drugstore or just more affordably priced lip liners i shared with you guys in a previous makeup collection video where i have a lot of my high-end lip liners in the other side of my room for some reason i just wanted to put all my drugstore ones in here so i have a ton of nyx i have some from palladio i have la girl la color milani and essence and probably a bunch more, but it's all drugstore. And then in the second drawer is where I have all of the, well, not all of my bronzers, but either backups or favorites, ones that I kind of reserve for either special occasions or ones I just haven't gotten to yet. So they're all in here. I have a backup of the Tarte Park Ave Princess waterproof bronzer. I have Max Give Me Sun down here, Balm Desert by The Balm, which is a beautiful kind of blush bronzer. It's really, really pretty. 
I have another Hula, love Hula. I have this stick foundation from um, Maybelline. It's called the Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick, but it's in the shade 330 Caramel Toffee, and it's the perfect contouring shade for me. I have the NYX Wonder Stick, which is for highlighting and contouring. I haven't tried it yet, but I have these together to remind myself to play with them and to kind of compare. I have one of the bronzers from Milani. This is a shimmery bronzer in the shade Glow. I have a couple of ColourPop bronzers, Sonia Kashuk, some from Lorac. I have one of the NYX HD blushes in the shade Taupe, which is perfect for contouring. It's a backup. I have another Lorac Tantalizing Shimmery Bronzer. Back here, I actually was recommended this, I think on Pinterest or Instagram, and it's supposed to be a dupe for the MAC. I think it's called Gold Deposit Bronzer, and this is by the brand Ruby Kisses. This is an all-over glow bronzing powder in the shade Bronze Glow. I haven't tried it yet, but supposedly it's a dupe for that Gold Deposit one from MAC. A Sonia Kashuk cream bronzer, and then another Sonia Kashuk powder bronzer. In this next drawer is where I have a lot of highlighters. I have the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I believe this is number two. This has a gorgeous highlight in it. It's so pretty. And I like that you have two products, so it's perfect for traveling. I have an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in here. I have one of the Laura Geller Baked Gelato luminizers in ballerina in here. It's a really pretty color. I tend to reach for Gilded Honey a lot more, but this is a really pretty, more subdued kind of champagne highlight instead of the gold one. I have some pearl highlights from Essence. I have a loose powder I got from a BoxyCharm from Ofra. Haven't tried that yet. I have a tiny little sample of Benefit What's Up. Another Milani baked bronzer, but it's really light, so sometimes I'll use it as a highlight. Another Milani baked bronzer. A Sephora powder highlight. I love this. This one's amazing. This one is in the shade Light Beam. It is just so beautiful. It gives you a nice subtle glow, but it's so easy to build up and it becomes really intense. It's just really, really pretty, but it's really soft on the skin and it blends out so nicely. I have some ColourPop highlighters. I have some Milani back there. I have some Wet n Wild back here. I have a Smashbox and just a lot more ColourPop. That's pretty much it for this drawer. And then in the very bottom drawer is where I have blushes. So I have the majority of my NARS blushes in here. I have some from Too Faced. I have some from LA Colors. These were about a dollar at the dollar store, but I bought them online. Love them, they're so beautiful. I have some of the ColourPop blushes, which I'm not really a big fan of. I feel like they're hard to blend. I don't feel like I get that much pigmentation out of them, but I kind of hang on to them to give them another shot. I have some from Lorac back here. I have one from Be A Bombshell, which I think I got an Ipsy. I have a couple of limited edition, or I believe just holiday edition blushes from Tarte. Some more regular full-size Tarte blushes. I have some from L'Oreal. I have a couple of MAC. I have some of the NARS Cream Duo Stick blushes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just think it looks really pretty when you close it because you can see all the NARS packaging, these pretty cute little heart-shaped ones from Too Faced, and then these little boxed ones. I don't know, I just like the layout. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. So that is it for this little corner of my room. This is probably going to be a pretty quick video, but I thought it would be nice to share with you guys how well this guy organizes my makeup. And I love how it looks like a little display all on its own. It looks like a piece of art and it was definitely worth every penny. So I will be sure to link it below if you guys are interested. And if you are looking for things like these guys, check out your local dollar store because they're amazing for organizing pretty much anything you need. And it looks really pretty and clean. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to request videos below so I can film them for you guys and I will see you guys very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!